So you have a key pass installed, uh, but you now want to integrate it with uh, either Chrome or Firefox. So how do you do that? Uh, well, I'm going to walk you through how to do it with, um, now this is for Windows, uh, Windows uh, 7 or 8, the instructions are the same. Um, and whether you're using Firefox or Chrome, it's going to be the same, just a different plugin. I'll go ahead and give the walkthrough using, uh, using Chrome. Uh, so basically, to integrate, you need three pieces of software. Uh, one, you need KeyPass, of course. Uh, two, you need a plugin uh, called uh, KeyPass HTTP. And basically, what that does is it integrates any kind of web browser activity with the KeyPass software. Um, and the, the third, you actually need the, the plugin for your web browser. So if you're using Chrome, you need the uh, Chrome iPass. And if you're using Firefox, you need... Um, I think it's called Keyfox. Uh, I'll, I'll provide the links for, for both uh, uh, in, in underneath uh, this video for you guys to uh, download, as well as the uh, the other pieces, two pieces of software as well. So download all three of these. Uh, go ahead and, and you know, install KeyPass if you haven't already. Uh, once you have that installed, down uh, after you download the uh, the plugin, the uh, um, KeyPass HTTP, uh, what you'll do with that. Uh, plugin is you'll go ahead and uh, um, right click copy that uh, plugin and then you'll basically go to um, the, your plugins folder which if you're using a modern computer it should I think it, most modern computers run 64-bit so what you'll go uh, ahead and do is click on the C drive and you should see two folders uh, that says program files. One of them will just say program files and the other will say program files um, in uh, parentheses x86. So go ahead and click into x86 one. If you only see one, then uh, go ahead and just click onto, uh, onto that one. Uh, and the reason for that is that KeyPass is a 32-bit software, so that's why it's installed into the 32-bit, which is the x86 folder. Uh, you don't really have to know what that means if, if you're not familiar with that, uh, but just figure I'd give a little bit of, uh, of, of his, uh, I guess, uh, context. So after you go to that folder, go ahead and go to your KeyPass folder. I believe it's called KeyPass uh, Save 2. So go ahead and click into that, and then uh, paste the uh, plugin into that folder. So that's basically how you install the plugin. Now to verify if the plugin uh, is installed, you would go back to, um, uh, I actually wrote some instructions down. So you would go back to uh, the, the KeyPass uh, software and then go to tools and then go to plugins and then you should see the KeyPass HTTP uh, plugin uh, in there. If not, then you probably either didn't paste it into the right folder or something. Um, it, it, you know, so if you don't see it, basically it's, it's not installed. So make sure that you uh, follow the steps and make sure that it's copied over into a plugin, uh, you know, into the folder properly. So once that's uh, set up, then go ahead and open up uh, your Firefox or Chrome and um, and install the, the Carissa Corresponding plugin. If you haven't, if you have, go ahead and open the plugin. And on the, uh, so it should be a little icon that has a blue lock on it. So go ahead and click onto that icon, and then go ahead and click onto the connect button. Once you click onto the connect button, it's gonna open a pop-up dialog in your KeyPass uh, software, where you enter in a, a a name for that. So basically, you can just type in like Chrome, and then go ahead and uh, and press save. So now um, go back to the web browser, uh, click on the icon again, and then go ahead and click on redetect uh, credential fields. And uh, if you know the steps were followed to uh, yeah you know, properly. Um, then you'll basically it'll, it'll, uh, say it, it's connected and you'll be able to, uh, when you log into any of the websites, you should um, see the uh, username 
um, highlighted uh, if you have multiple usernames for that website. If it's the only one, it'll automatically populate into that uh, into your uh, password field. So hopefully you found this helpful. I know it's a little bit cryptic and confusing, so I'll go ahead and provide instructions um, that are written down uh, or typed up as well, uh, as well as the links to all, each of the plugins. Uh, that way it's a little more um, uh, easier to, uh, to, to follow. Uh, so hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, and if you have, make sure to subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, go to my uh, website, yanhuang.me. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, and also feel free to uh, to uh, scratch on my mailing list.